One other word. You got a glut of condos down here? Uh, let's be real careful about the way we describe condominiums. There are two features to a condominium. Under the condominium law, you have two definitions. You have the definition of a unit, and you have a definition of a condominium unit. What's the difference? The condominium unit consists of two things, the unit and the pro rata share of the common, era, common areas and common elements. Okay. So if you describe it as unit number whatever, you haven't given them a pro rata share of the condominium common elements. And we have seen this bite people. So at all times, you should always use the full term condominium unit number such and so. And not just the unit. The unit is just the walls, the space between the floorboard and the ceiling or the plenum and the inside of the wallboard, however it's described, but it's typically, it doesn't include the, the porch or the balcony, or the, air, air, the compressor, or the plenum, or uh, the yard, or the pool. I mean, it's just the space you get to occupy. So be sure you convey more than just the unit. Always. Condominium unit. If you ever see a title report that makes this mistake, you must correct it. You must call the title company and let them know that they've made an error. Sometimes you see it. Now, they're pretty good about it because they do understand it.